Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on Anubhav Learning Series. In our last session, we talked about our scenario for SAP BTP S4 HANA and Chat GPT integration. In our last episode, we set up the required tools and services to be able to begin the development for our BTP workflow for integrating with S4 HANA and Chat GPT. In our today's episode, we are going to develop the first two steps or three steps for this integration where we are going to receive a text from the user. Based on the text, we will extract the information of the purchase order created by the customer. Then we will feed this purchase order number to the S4 HANA API, whereas we are going to lead, read the status of the sales order corresponding to the customer's purchase order. If you have not seen the past two episodes of this series, I will put the dis uh, link in the description of this video. You can go ahead and check the same. So let's get started back to SAP BTP account in our SAP Business Application Studio where we can start developing our workflow. So very first thing I'm going to initialize the context which is nothing but the initial data set which we are going to provide to our BTP workflow. I click on details and create here a new JSON file. Let's name it as my JSON. So I'm going to create a new file called my JSON under the sample data sales order chat GBT script. So let me create a new file, call it as my JSON. And this file gets created as an initial context. So you can see we are setting this file as an initial context my.json in the corresponding folder. So this particular file will be utilized to provide the initial context for our workflow. So what I'm going to do in this, I'm going to get the information from our call which we tested in the previous episode where we are going to extract the number of the purchase order created by customer. So extract the text data from and turn into a JSON with the property purchase order by customer. And there we are passing the purchase order ID from the customer Sonia. I'm going to copy this and let me define here context. We will say input is my entire value which I need to feed to chat GPT API and output is at the moment is empty. Then I will also extract out the purchase order ID, which is at the moment again empty. So first we will call chat GPT and send this information which we received as a SMS from the customer to chat GPT. Chat GPT will return the data in the output. From the output then I will extract the purchase order ID and keep it in POID variable. As a next step we will pass the purchase order ID to our S4 HANA API to extract the sales order information based on the customer purchase order along with the status. So I will switch over back to the workflow and create our first task as a service task to call the chat GPT. So let's go ahead and call the chat GPT. So we will put here the destination name which we created the other day. If you forgotten that please go back to your BTP account. I have also shared all of these destinations with all of you in the previous episode. You can check the last video where you will find the description where I have added the uh, added this test. We will log in to our SAP BTP account. And now we will see the destination name which we created in the last episode. So let's go to destination tab. And here we will see the destination name is chat GPT. So we can come back, put that name, put the address. This is the address of our call to chat GPT. It should be a post call and in the input we are going to pass our input from the context. So that will be the input for service task which we need to supply. So dollar context dot input. The response will come from chat GPT. We will store that in the output variable. 
output variable and we can save the same. So that is my first service task which is going to call the chat GPT and extract the uh, purchase order ID from the incoming message. Let me add another script tag uh, service task where we are going to call S4 HANA also. So I'm going to go to details, put my S4 HANA destination name, put the address from the postman. So if you remember in the previous episode, we already tested the API of getting the sales order based on filter. So I'm going to pass the entire code. At the moment, you can notice that our uh, purchase order ID is hard coded. So we have kept it hard coded at the moment. Here you can see just to test the API. Later on, this should get replaced at runtime from the purchase order number passed by customer. It will be a get call and we are good to go. The output of this call will be stored inside a variable so we need to specify the variable name context dot let's say uh, my output from s4 hana yes or let's say my sales order info so this variable will be created at runtime automatically in our workflow context when the response comes back so we are good so it's time to save the workflow and we can test our workflow now by building the MTA, MTA file. So right click on MTA YAML, build the MTA workflow. So build the MTA archive, which can be deployed to the SAP BDP Cloud Foundry. So I will go there. You can see it's built. The MTA archive is built. You can right click and say deploy MTA archive. So now it is deploying my MTA archive to the BTP account where I can go ahead and test the same. Fantastic. So once this is done, we will be able to test quickly our workflow in the BTP account. So you can see it is just creating all the necessary resources, the backing services, and then it is binding the backing services with my BTP instance. Done. And I'm going to switch over back to test the same. So I will go back and go to workflow monitor. And voila, you can see my workflow is here. We can start a new instance. And you can see this is our input. And this is our output and POID. Output is empty at the moment. We start the workflow instance. You can see it is being started and I can monitor immediately the workflow instance in the monitor workflow tile. So there are many instances previously uh, for testing purpose I created. Let me reset the filter. And if I go on the top, this is the latest one. You can see the time. And as per that, you can go to the uh, workflow context. And that was the sales order info we have received from S4 HANA. Very nice. And that is the input we pass, and that is the output from the uh, output we receive from chat GPT. Wow. So now what we need to do. So at runtime, what should happen? This ID which we receive from, uh, from chat GPT extracted from the customer message needs to be dynamically passed to S4 HANA API. Yes. So whatever ID user have given in the message, same has to pass to S4 HANA here in the filter criteria so that it can read the data correspondingly for that PO. So if you change the purchase order ID, it should work seamlessly. So if user go back and if we change the message in the context data, if I change the purchase order ID here, this one, maybe just let me get some purchase order IDs from the system. So I will change the purchase order ID maybe uh, to let's say this one, 21032023031, something like that. Yeah. So this is a different one. Now this is what it should take at runtime rather than the hard coded purchase order ID. So that's where we go to the next step in our workflow and create a another task. And this is going to be a script task where we are going to mapping. Yes. So I will just go back to the to the second one and add a new script task where we will do this orchestration orchestration so here we will say uh, map 
the POID with SO service. And now we are going to do the mapping here. So let me create a file. I can call it as mapping.js where we will do this mapping. So we need to take data from the response of chat GPT and input that data to our POID variable. So it generates some random code. I need to delete that. And where is my data from the chat GPT? Let me just go ahead and see that. So my chat GPT is giving data in the output variable. Under that, there is a choices array. Under that, there is a message and then there is a content. So we need to go and do it accordingly. So we need to just refer the out. Yes, dot choices with array of zero message dot content. So that is the address of my data. So let's go back dollar dot context dot my content dot message dot choices of zero if that was an array dot the output so in the context output choices of zero message content that is where my text is so but the text is basically in this format it's a text format basically we need to extract out only this id so what we will do here we will split the text by purchase order by customer let me go back to the script so it's a basic of javascript we will split it by this character get the next element again split it by colon get the next character and finally split by a double quote and get the next character so that is where i am going to get our data yes so we will receive all the data in the system so you can see first we'll split by this we will receive this whole part then we will split by double colon we will receive this this part so that is the exact part i will get but this part needs to be also concatenated with a single quote around it to be successfully able to pass it to our api so let's concatenate that and that information we can set to poid in our context so i say dollar dot context dot poid don't worry i will be sharing this entire workflow file with all of you you guys can upload my project directly into the BTP account of yours and you can see my code and test the same. All right, so this looks good. Now the mapping is done. So we can now take this information and map it with our API. So instead of hard coding this information with S4 HANA, we are now going to go back and map it over here. So we are not telling computer to take the hard coded purchase order ID rather to basically go ahead and take at runtime whatever is the purchase order ID from my context. So we have to come here and say dollar curly braces context PUID. That's what we are going to do. And we are good here at this moment. It's all cool and the flow is also ready. Everything looks good. Yes, mapping.js looks good. Come here. This detail looks good. Everything is good. We are ready. And as a next step, we can just go back and redeploy and test. So let's rebuild the workflow. Build empty archive. It is going to build the workflow quite fast. It's done. And let's deploy our next version of the empty archive which will deploy our workflow to the system. It's quite fast. So you will see in just few seconds, the deployment will get over. And we should be able to get the data. Cool, done. Now it's time to test. Let's go back straight ahead to the home page of the workflow management and now test our workflow. So this time I will pass a different ID. You can see here it is 2103 something. Yes, that is the data it should fetch now. Yes, depending on the PUID. I can click start. 
and go back to test the outcome. It seems that it's done quite fast and I can check the workflow context and let me see. Yes, there you go. That was my PUID, which was feeded to the OData service in S4 and S4 returns the data back for the same PUID with the sales order number. Awesome, awesome guys. So this completes our video number three for this learning series of how to integrate chat GPT and S4 HANA and orchestrate the data between them. Our next episode will be triggering the email to the customer. So we will learn how to now further proceed further. Call chat GPT again to prepare an email at runtime and send that email to our business user who is demanding the status of their sales order. Having said that, that's the end of our today's episode. Please like, share, subscribe this channel, smash the bell icon to get notified for the next video as soon as we upload the same. Thank you so much once again. Catch up in the next class.